thick fog, light rain. Not fit for man or beast. But the rain has slacked off, man, a while ago. It was really, really putting it down bad. I've been out all morning collecting knives. You ain't gonna believe it. I'll show you in a minute. <clears throat> Mumbles man and the guru, I think I told you, went yesterday in Beaver. Beaver didn't do much, and the Mumbles man and the guru didn't do much until they moved back to the bay down by the uh, pier. And somebody got the Mumbles bad. The Mumbles man put it on a guru. Knee deep water, 11 grams, fat gold tiquito. I have some nice pictures at the end for you to look at. He didn't give me the mumbles and I didn't even go. God! Stand by. The first stop took me across the tunnel. As you see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight knives and a pair of scissors. Let's see what we got here. Okay, OXOs. And we got a Caffalon with some few scratches on the blade. And we have. I can't make out what it is. Sheffield, maybe? Just Japan on it. A little paring knife. And we got this long taquito carbon knife. I want to say it's a saboteur, but I can't tell. It's got something right there that you can't quite make out. Well, I can see something under there. Maybe we'll be able to tell when it gets cleaned up. She says she's had it 40 years. She still uses it. I'm going to sharpen it and clean it up for her. And then we got a big long, another one of them Japanese knives. You know, just a regular 50 50 grind knife, long slicer knife. And we got another same, same make Japan utility, I guess you call it a carving knife. And we got a nice Wusthof bread knife and then the next ticket is yeah this is a saboteur but she's got some terrible scratches on the blade especially this side you see them so hopefully we get most of them out and the last is a little serrated international heckle from Spain Then the next stop, this is what this was a drop off one of my drop off locations. Wustoff, Bird's Beak, at Heckle International from China, like a para. I got no clue. I think it's a. I do think it's. I can see something there. Fritz, it looks like one of them Fritz knives with the flame like on the back. Same thing for the scissors. It says patented USA, and that's all it says, but you can see the flame thing right there. And then we got that. Chicho's Let's Holiday. I've done some knives with this lady before. She's uh, She has sports knives and scissors, but stand by. Let's see what's in there. Well, the first is a... Uh, I ain't sure I know how to get in it. Some kind of sport knife, I know. Like I told you, that's all she's got. Hold on a minute. I came undone okay. I can't get that one unloose and worth a damn, so I'm just going to slip it out of there. It looks like one of them Air Force type survival knives. According to the handle, it looks new. Hold on. It's got some kind of string doodad tied to it. I guess that's so she don't lose it. So it has been out of the case. Don't look like it's been used or ever sharpened. The blade is uh, kind of got some patina rust on it. It, you know, the it blade edge, I should say. That'll clean up nice. And then in this bag, you take the scissors in. Yeah, man, cool. I like it. 
These are Super Edge Joy. I see a lot of scissors, but first I've seen of these. What does it say there? Chrome stainless steel patented. Germany. Hmm. And these ticky those singers. They got some stuff on them too. So we got some cleanup work and some sharpening work. I gotta go to work. I'll see you in a little while. I've done the top half of it. About the bottom half on each side. First initial pass on the buffer. Stand by. No, I got them all finished. Got all the scratches, just about all the scratches out of all of them. That's the carbon knife. You know what it looked like before. Serrated. All the scratches out of this one. I got the uh, scissors and the little knife for the other lady all done. Hold on. I had some before and after of these. There's no difference. They clean up just like the old carbon knife. I don't know what gets on scissors that makes them so bad. I mean, nine out of ten pair of scissors that I get are nasty. Kitchen scissors are actually better in shape than sewing scissors. I don't know what what that is. I'm not I'm not in a loop on that. But they turn out nice and nice and sharp. Okay, that's it. I'm closing the books up. Nobody wants spinning today that we know of.